Welcome to the exciting world of Pokemon. In this world, we humans share many adventures with our Pokemon companions, creating friendships and memories that can last a lifetime. Some humans seek to become trainers, maybe specializing in a specific type of Pokemon in battle, contest coordinators who discover both the beauty and strength within each species, and even heroes such as rangers who defend people and Pokemon alike. In this world, the planet is also safely watched after by many legendaries. Dialga and Palkia, for instance, are the guardians of time and space, keeping the world that we know in perfect balance. This story, however, is a little different from the typical journeys we hear of trainers collecting badges and ribbons and going off to battle in leagues. In this tale, we'll discover just how strong the bonds between beings can truly be, and how that strength can overcome almost any challenge that need be faced. Come, follow our heroes on their quest. This is Pokemon Guardians of Light. Right? I'm slipping! No! Don't let go! Just a little longer! Come on! Hang on! I... I can't! Lyra! No! Well, here I am, again, Wigglytuff's Guild. <sighs> Alright, this is it. You can do it this time. Just walk up there, steal your courage, and... <sighs> I can't do this. <sighs> I just can't work up the courage to go in. I thought that if I brought my treasure with me, it would inspire me. I'm such a coward. Hey Zubat, did you get a lot of that? Oh, I did, Coffee. That whip had something good, right? That's right. Said it was a treasure. <laughs> I think we might as well see where he's off to. Maybe see if we can take the trouble off his hands. <laughs> yeah. It's so nice out here. When the weather's good, the Krabby come out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles, catching the setting sun's rays off the waves. It's always beautiful. This is where I always come when I'm feeling sorry for myself. But it still makes me feel good to be here, like always. Coming here is uplifting, it cheers me up. Huh? What's that? Someone's collapsed on the sand! Hey! Hey! Can you hear me? Are you okay? Come on! Please wake up! Maybe you're thirsty. Here, I've got my canteen. Maybe if you drink something, you'll feel better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, water! Good, clean water! You're awake! Huh? Oriolu? Okay. 
Where's his trainer? You weren't moving. For a minute there, I was worried you might be dead. A talking real? What, 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 what? What is it? You... You talked! Um, yeah. Your point? I must be dreaming. You... You can't talk. Pokemon can't talk! Maybe you hit your head on a rock or something. Are you feeling okay? Don't touch me! Oh, come on! I'm not gonna hurt you! Are you insane? Is... No, that... That is not my reflection. That's not me. That can't be me. Why am I a Rio? No. No, wake up. Wake up! No. Burr? Boss? What was that for? Look, I don't know if I'm crazy, or if you're a dream, or if this is some psychic sick idea of a joke or what, but I am human! Alright, then prove it. Who exactly are you if you're not a Pokemon? I... I... Well? I... I don't remember. Who am I? And why can't I remember? She didn't have to hit me. Still, she seems pretty upset, but a human? It all seems pretty far-fetched. I wonder who she really is. Where does she come from? There aren't many other really out there, and most of us live up in the mountains. Wait a minute. What's that on her wrist? What's that? Uh-huh. On your arm. Oh. I don't know. A watch, maybe? Let me look. Ah, that's a styler! What are you doing with a styler? Styler. That's what this is? Pokemon Rangers use them to temporarily capture Pokemon. You really have no idea, do you? No. <sighs> How can you not remember? Well, I don't! Then how do you know you're a human? I just do. And that's about it. <laughs> I don't know what else is going on! <sighs> Look, I don't know if you're a human or Pokemon, or even if I should believe you. But we've really gotten off on the wrong foot here, so let's just start over. I'm Rai. It's nice to meet you. Uh... Lyra. <laughs> hey, what was that for, you jerk? Well, excuse us. It's not our fault you two can't keep yourself standing. I swear I'm gonna... Where's my necklace? Where'd it go? <laughs> Looking for this moth, right? That's mine. Give it back. Go ahead. Try and take it. Ha! You've always been such a coward. Come on, coughing. Let's get out of here. He told you to give it back, so hand it over. Ah! I've had that forever. It means everything to me. <clears throat> you jerk! Someone's got to teach him a lesson. Come on. What? I said come on. We're going to get back at those two idiots. Wait, you really help me? 
Against those guys? Seems like a good deal to me. You get your necklace and I get some payback. No one pushes me around and gets away with it. They went into the beach caves. I know my way around and it's not very big, so we should be able to find them. Let's hurry! Come on, this way! How exactly do you know your way around here so easily? I used to explore these caves all the time. Stay quiet though. Some Pokemon that hang around here aren't as friendly as others. Well, how do you know they came this way? Don't you sense their aura? No. That's bad. Although we can't use aura or anything like that when we evolve, most of us can still feel the ripples. Not me! What part of not a Pokémon don't you get? Well, you're one now, so you'll need to act like one. And you'll need to learn some moves for whenever you get caught in a fight. How often does that happen again? <sighs> more and more each day. What do you mean? I'll explain later. We're almost to them. Yes, we did. But what's so special about this thing anyway? Looks pretty junky to me. It's just a stupid rock! Who are those guys anyway? Team Salacious. They're one of the Pokemon Explorer teams from the guild in town. Only they abuse what power they do have as members of it. They're nothing more than bullies. If they give the guild such a bad image, then why are they still in it? Well, the guild master, Wigglytuff, is a little... should I say... naive? He often gives people the benefit of a doubt, even when they don't deserve it. And Team Salacious acts very discreet in order to keep up a good image in front of the guild master. Hmm, what are they talking about? What? <laughs> you know, this really isn't my day. Lyra, are you hurt? Just my pride, or what's left of it. Well, well, if it isn't our two friends. The coward and the weakling. Weakling? Give me... Give me back what you stole from me! It means a lot to me! It's a treasure! Hmm... Treasure, you say? Then I guess it's worth more to us than we thought. Right, Coffee? Yeah. Maybe more than we hoped for, I'd say. Could fetch a nice price in town. If you want it back so badly, kid, then come and get it! Somewhere. Yes. Uh, Eat this. His necklace. Give it back now. 
You've got it! Go away. And leave my friend alone. Got it? Yep, yep. Sure do. We'll, we'll be leaving now. Right away. Whoa. Where did you learn to move like Rage? There's actually a move called Rage? Never mind. Say, thanks for sticking up for me like that. I don't think I could have gotten back this alone and no one's ever done that for me before. Especially not against those two. Do you really think I'm a friend? Well, yeah, I guess so. We did just save each other after all. <laughs> we do make a good team. What's that they stole anyway? You went through a lot of trouble to get it back. It's a relic fragment. Or at least, that's what they call it. But this relic fragment is a precious treasure. I found it a long time ago. So long ago I just can't remember a time when I didn't have it. I've always been interested in legends and lore. I just get excited hearing tales from the past. Can you imagine? Hidden trolls full of treasures and secrets? Uncharted territories veiled in darkness and new lands just waiting to be discovered? Such places will be filled with treasures and history. You probably think it's weird, I know, but it's what I've always dreamed of. And I know somehow that this relic fragment is going to lead me on some amazing adventures. That's why I want to join an exploration team. I want to try and solve the mysteries behind it. However, I've tried to join the guild, but <laughs> I chickened out. <sighs> Maybe I am the coward that Team Salacious believes me to be. A coward wouldn't have been able to stand up to those jerks like you did. Don't underrate yourself. Thanks. So what about you, Lyra? What are you going to do now? Now that you're a Pokemon? What am I going to do? I've got no money, no supplies, nowhere to go. What exactly can I do now? Can I ask you a favor then? Huh? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? You know, that would actually be kind of nice. And I know you got a lot to figure out. Rai, But I, I know we'd be better off if we joined forces. Rai, I will. Yes, I'd like to be a team. And... And I don't think I could see myself fighting without you with me. Not after all this, and... Wait, did you just say yes? <laughs> yes! Yes! Thank you! Come on, first we've got to get to Wigglytuff's guild and sign on as apprentices. Hey... You don't think that Zuban and Coughing would tell the Guildmaster that we fought them, do you? <laughs> oh, I don't think we'll have to worry about that. A coward and a weakling like us beating a team like them? Well, they don't want to lose their good image in front of the Guildmaster, do they? And so, as Rai and Lyra head off to join the renowned Wigglytuff Guild of Explorers, who knows what adventures await our heroes next? Join us next time on Pokemon Guardians of Light.